Okay, guys, it's been a little minute since I did a little strategy video with you guys, but I want to show you something because a lot of people wonder, Uncle Pete, why do you close your trades early? Um, first of all, uh, I want to be clear that sometimes I'll just close it at 10 pips because I want to treat it as a scalp. I may trade off a higher time frame, but 10 pips or 15 pips is still a scalp, and I feel comfortable with it. But more importantly, uh, I'm going to go to the charts right now and show you exactly why. Let's go to today and at the time of this recording so that everybody is very clear uh, today is, by the way, my daughter's birthday, um, and uh, it's 5-21-2024, okay? So what happened today, uh, CAD came out with news, and it spiked up. So I'm going to show you what happened, okay? Uh, so CAD came out with bad news, which is why the CAD shot down, and then it came back up, okay? So watch this. Be very clear on what you're about to see, okay? CAD news came out shoots up and then it shoots down and then it comes back up all right this is very clear i want to make sure you guys are seeing this because i'm going to explain what what why i do what i do it goes up comes down and shoots up okay so that's typically when big news comes out like inflation reports or or interest rate news or something like that you're going to see these moves so what happens is for me I'm greedy. I don't like giving back money. Okay. I don't like giving back money. Now, for those who have a lot more patience, that's cool. That's all good. Do you. Okay. Uh, let me find another pair. All right. So AUD came out yesterday and they had their, you know, their news. Okay. Okay. So you can see a double top and shot down and then came back around. Okay. That's very typical when news events happen. Here goes what happened yesterday with uh, AUD. Okay. News comes out, and look what happens the very next day. Pulls all the way back up. So if you're a person who's swing trading, you're trying to hold your trade for a while, which is fine. That's just the, This is just up to you what style floats your boat and fits you comfortable, okay? Um, there's no right or wrong in this. I'm just showing you why I do it, okay? So with timing, this is what I look for. Once this, and let's go back to GBP CAD, okay? Because this is a good one. So news comes out. Market shoots up, then it drops and does a pullback, okay? Or better yet, let me go to the one I sent out to the to the uh, copycat group, okay? So the news comes out, it shoots up, and I take a trade on this one, which I sent out to the CC group, the copycat, meow, meow, I sent it out to the copycat group, and then it pulled back, okay? It pulled back. Was it this way? Give me one second. Let me make sure I'm looking at the right one. Give me one second. Yeah, no, it was in ZDCAD. I'm sorry. They all did the same thing, so it didn't matter. Uh, so anyway, what I did was it went down. Let me go to the four hour. Okay. It went down. Yeah, that's the right one. Okay. So what happened is the news came out and it shot up real quick. Okay. Shot up. Then dropped down. Wait a minute. Some may right. Jesus, hold on. Jesus, take the wheel. It was, it was this one. Okay, yeah. It was this one. All right, so it shot down. I got to change it on the report. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so it shot down and then shot right back up. It shot down, and during this shoot down period, you want to take your profits because if you're not careful, look what happens right afterwards. Okay, so when it hits the support level, and I'm seeing that it's hitting a strong support level, I'm going to just take the money because I don't know if you're going to continue or whether you're going to pull all the way back up. And hopefully, and me personally, I'm looking for things like this. I'm hoping that you will pull right back up into this level or somewhere near it because then the money I made on this first move or this shoot down and then you shoot back up that little move. Okay, see this little shoot down. And then you shoot back up. Now, if I want to hold the trade for a little while, that's cool. But I do know that during the Asian session, the market likes to pull back up into the trend, which means that whatever you have made on this move is going to give it right back to the market. And there you go. And that's where you get your double tops and you're in this situation, a triple top. OK, and as you can see, it created a triple top. So. If you're holding the trade and you want to swing trade, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you understand you're going to be holding it and you have to have patience, 
And so your stomach and your patients may go for a little roller coaster ride, but eventually the market will get where it needs to be. Okay, so for an example, if you're looking at this from the daily time frame, you can see that, see, it's just doing one, two, three. It's just retesting like it did over here. And if it retests, it eventually come where it's supposed to. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. Okay, that which is great. But what happens oftentimes It'll shoot down, and as you can see, right about here is where I took our money, okay, on this shoot down move. I took the money. It was this pair, AUD CAD. All right, it was this one. So we got 10, 20 pips. I forgot what it was, and then I just took the money. Why? Because immediately after the London session closes, okay, and primarily reversal trades are happening during the Asian, I'm sorry, the during the New York London overlap. That's when you get reversal trades. If you're looking to be a reversal trader, New York, London overlap is where you're going to find a lot of those. OK, when the London session is over, the market likes to go right back up into its original trend. So let's take a look. What was the original trend? Well, you can see the original trend is an uptrend. Right. So at the end of London, New York overlap, when London closes, the market likes to go back up into its original trend. Now, how far up it's going to go, I don't know, but like it did here. See, this was yesterday, drops, and then what happens? It retraced all the way back up. You may have some situations where it may go down and may retrace a little bit, but either way it goes, I'm expecting a retracement. So at this time, I'm hoping that this one will stay and push up like it normally would and come back up around in this level because during the Asian session, it's notorious for faking people to the upside only to drop. So I'm hoping that it looks like right now it want to pull down, but I don't think so. Um, you know, history has shown me that, yes, it'll show this, it'll flash it. But then when the Asian session come in, it'll come back and all actually retest. So on GCAD, I'm hoping, and GCAD, watch this, it's another reason why I also close trades early. Okay, uh, GCAD, I would love to take this trade even now. I would love to just enter the trade now. It's looking really, really right, looking really great. Um, here it is on the daily time frame. You can see it popped up all the way up here, wicked. And then let's watch what happens. When we come down to the body of the candle, the body of this candle is came and retested this level. Okay, so we're looking really good. Let's check it on the weekly. And you can see right here, it's retested this level many times. Okay. OK, so this is a popular area. So no problem. See all these. This is the weekly time frame. Look, look right there. Almost to the to the touch, almost to the touch. So every time it comes in this area, it, it's a sell off. OK, so I'm, a, I'm I'm good on that. That's cool. But look what happened. So this one, it came down some and immediately what do you see happen? It retraced back up. Now you say, oh, but I see it's starting to come back down. Yeah, but guess what happens during an Asian session? You may get one of these situations where it pulls up and it won't stop until it retests it here. And see, this is doing the same thing. You get a little couple of red candles and then it starts coming back up. So I'm used to watching this do the same move every single time. It pulls down, pulls a little bit more back up. So anywhere, even if it pulls back up to this level, watch this. Let's put a candle, I mean, a line right over the bodies of these. And you can see it's a good resistance area. OK, or we can even put it right down here. Either way it goes, what happens is, let's put it right here. You can say right there. Either way it goes, during the Asian session, it is notorious for pullbacks. That's where your pullbacks come from. So I'm hoping that it will pull back here or a bit higher. And if it does, I'm going to be whack a molding this one again. See, I'm just going to keep whacking it because this one has created a triple top, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to write this one now that it's retested multiple times. But here's the point. Some of you guys, you're not realizing, OK, what happened? OK, you hold the trade, it retraced. You hold the trade, it retraced. And then when it gets exhausted one more again, which I'm expecting this one more time, my mom used to say one more again, I'm expecting one more time tonight that it's actually going to retrace back up, okay? And once it does, it's going to give me a great entry point. See that? So don't be fooled by the red first red candle, okay? So as you can see, it's now creating an uptrend. Here's support, your support and look at the support is climbing higher and higher and higher. So again, if it comes and touch this or breaks higher around the 930, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, New York time tonight, if it retraces back up in this area, I'm definitely looking to reenter.
Okay. Now, which one will I not fool with just yet? And let me check my news chart. And that is going to be, I'm sorry, let me click over here. And that's the G pairs. If you, before you take a trade, you do want to check news because the one pair I don't, I would love to just tap it, but I'm not going to. And this one is really, really close. So you say, oh, Uncle P, man, that looks like a really, really good one. And you will be 100% correct. Okay. Why won't I tap it? One big reason. Did you check the news? Did you? Because see, here's what's coming out tonight on the uh, the the pound. The pound is going to get. Ooh, didn't mean to click on that. Uh, let me see some. Let me make pull this on screen so you guys can see it. One thing I always want to do before I take a trade is check for news. Okay, give me a second and I'll pull this on screen so you guys can see it for yourself. All right, so this is my FX book, my forex book or whatever. Uh, my FX book. All right, so here is today. Like I said, today is the 21st, Tuesday the 21st. And let's scroll down. For number one, I won't take the NZD CAD. Why? Because NZD has interest rate news coming out in less than five hours. You didn't know that, did you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at this pound. Look at the pound. It's going to get pounded with news. Okay. And the main one is what? Interest rate news tonight. Okay, so in a few hours, in nine hours, so you got the NZD that's coming out with interest rate news, and then you got the pound coming out with inflation news. So guess who I'm not going to do? All right, so let's move this over to the side and watch what happens. This is what I do. So if I'm in a trade and it did make me some good pips one way or the other, well, I will quickly get out of it if I know that it's going to have some big news event come out on it. Typically, I may not even trade it for the next 24 hours anyway, because I know if it's a scheduled news event, I don't want to have anything to do with it because it's you know, a lot of these pairs start acting really funny or they barely move when there's news within the next 24 hours. So I kind of avoid that. OK, but. So that's if I do take a trade, yes, that will be one of the explanations as to why I would take my pips okay, and run. The other one is if I know that it did its reversal move. See, look, look as we speak. Oh, my God, I'm so grateful this happened right in front of y'all. Look at this. Literally, I drew this line right in front of y'all. I'm still recording. And you can see that the market is moving. It's real slow because in 15 minutes, it'd be 5 p.m. Eastern and the market would be closed for about, you know, for the first hour. But as you can see, look right here. Some of you guys should say, oh, wow, I will jump in right here. No, look right here. Look what candle you see. This candle right here is showing you that it's going to do what? Possibly go up just like I warned you it would do. So you don't want to be in a rush to jump in this thing because, oh, I see a couple of red candles. Yeah, but draw that trend line. And you'll see that it's just going to the trend. See, touch. Touch, touch is going to the trend, and I can stretch this out further. Okay. Okay. Watch. See? See? That which was resistance turned into strong support. Okay. So now you can see that it's just bouncing off support. Okay. You see that? That which was resistance down here has become support. So if that's the case, this thing can create this little slant pattern and bounce up this way. And because I know this is going to happen, look at this move down. That was a nice move, which we took advantage of. Okay. Tried to squeeze out as many pips as I could and I closed the trade. And here's the reason why I closed it. Look at what's happening. We would have been giving back money. And that is why Uncle Pete closes a trade. So in conclusion on this short little video, uh, there's two reasons why I'll close my trades early. Number one, because I'm expecting a retrace back during the agent session. And then hopefully it will give me the, a, a better, a second entry so I can take the profits from this trade here. Look at this candle. Look at this candle. Literally as I'm speaking. So it will give me the opportunity to cash in on the first wave move. Okay, the first impulse move to the downside. Wait for it to retrace back up and give me another entry so that I can hit it again. That is why I do that. So let me know in the comments or shoot me an email. Let me know if you, this makes sense. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be teaching class. I'm having my live class. So if you have any questions about this, uh, be feel free more, feel more than free to ask. Um, and just go through you know, a bunch of pairs and just back test what I'm saying. And you'll see for yourself. You'll, you'll see it. 
that's where these slant patterns and these uh, double tops and double bottoms and all this stuff comes from. Now, again, if you're just a person wanting to take a trade and be gone for a week or two, then none of this matters. So don't, don't, don't worry about it. Just take your trade and keep it moving, player, because by the time you come back, it'll probably be heading down. OK, so this one has kit came back up. Boom. I'm hoping that it will come back up because this is a definite one. I do want to take to the downside and ride it downhill. OK, later on this evening. But I'm hoping for a better pullback so that the money we made on this first initial move can pull back and give us a better cash in point. Uh, and so you can see it off the 30 minute. And here's the 15 minute. OK, look at that. You can clearly see what it's trying to do. It pull back to the trend line, and chances are it's going to push somewhere up in this area right here, if not beyond. This is what I'm looking for, okay? So that we're not giving back any money. And how many pips is this? From here to here, that's about five. Uh, hopefully, I'm me personally, I'm hoping that it will break through here and try to fake as many people out and put it in this range. You see right here? That's what I'm hoping. Look at that second candle coming out. Look at that. Look at that. Right in front of y'all's eyes. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Okay. Okay. So from here, what we got out to where it is now, that's already about seven or eight pips. Okay. So if we had scalped and made about 10, 15 pips, we would have gave back half of that money already. You see what I'm saying? That's why I close my trades out, wait for it to come back up into a different range. And if it does, then I'll either hit it here or I'll hit it if it comes up here. Either way it goes, I do look to hit it later on this evening, but I want to wait for the fake move during the agent session. Okay, so again, class will be in session because tomorrow is Wednesday and every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or 9 a.m. New York Time, I am doing a live class. So I'll be more than happy to look at that. Oh my God, that's amazing. It's amazing when you can call it on camera. <laughs> it's undisputed evidence, undisputed evidence literally happening in front of our eyes. OK, so uh, if you want to join our copycat service, just hit, go to our website, supereasyforex.com and then click on the copycat service. So you can go to supereasycopycat.com and join us there. All right. And I will see you guys in class tomorrow.